Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today we are going to take a look at deploying an image from Fog. Although I've covered this in one of my older videos, I did not specifically do a video on this when I was creating the playlist for Fog last year, and so far holding out for a new Fog release has not been working to my advantage, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done today. The first thing that you've gotta to do to deploy an image is register the new machine with Fog. So on your screen, I've got a VM on Proxmox, and we're gonna go ahead and start this up and go through the registration process. And as you can see, it's already booting over the network. We are going to do full host registration and inventory so that it will actually record a computer name instead of just the MAC address for the identifier. And while this is working, just to be clear, this is just a blank VM. All right, so we have to decide which image to associate with it. So we'll list the images. There's only one image on this fog machine. So we select number one. Everything else, I'm going to enter N for no, because I don't have these items set up. We're also going to skip the primary user. And really at this point, you could deploy the image right now, just by saying yes to this question. We're gonna say no, so we can walk through the fog interface and set this up. And once this is done, we're going to shut it down. The next step in the deployment process is we come over here to Fog. And if we look at hosts and list all hosts, we've got multiple items listed now. Okay, we can now see that we've got our Mint clone listed in the FOG system. It's already been assigned an image. So, from here, we can either use the tasks that are in this section here under the task column, or we can jump over to tasks, list all hosts, and from here for mint clone we've also got the option to deploy. Alright, test successfully. Now if we look at active tasks we see a task and we've got some status We've got deploy, queued, and force task to start. So, everything is set to go. All we have to do is come back to the machine and power it on once again. And if everything works the way it's supposed to, it should boot up and it should launch the task. And it will deploy the image. So we will, I will let this go and I will be back when the process is done. I will see you in a few moments.
And just like that, we've got a system deployed. I can go ahead and log in. And once the desktop loads up, we'll have verified that it's fully working. As I've mentioned in comments to various viewers, uh, deploying is probably the easiest part of the FOG process. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this video on the short side, and I hope this helps some people. Deploying is really the easiest part of the FOG process. Uh, in the future, later this year, I will be doing an updated FOG series. I will be going into more depth on not only imaging standard machines using BIOS, but also do some work with machines running UEFI. Uh, these will probably be virtual machines, but what people have to keep in mind, and I keep stressing this, even though I keep getting questions, the process is the same whether you're running virtual machines or physical machines. So uh, on that note, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments or ask questions down below in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and happy computing.